And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty DLC, we're heading towards Endgame. Make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button, let's get into it. Procedures are up. V, I hope you're not feeling too raw post Farida's work. It's time to intercept and supply the netrunners. Just one hiccup. Our access to Karen Exotics was cut. They must have discovered us. Wait, seriously? So we lost them? Not entirely. We know they were last in the city center. Headed our direction. Find a vantage point near the entrance of Dogtown. You'll grab a trace on the runners as they drive to the meeting. No visual on our targets. See a convoy. Hanson's goons. Doubt the runners would have a security escort, though. I'll keep watching. Mm -hmm. Additional support for the stadium, most likely. Clean so far. No sign of their ride. No visual on our targets. Got a total Cortez blocking the road. Traffic's piling up. First basic, run of the mill. Definitely not that. Can we keep looking? Couple of bikers. Don't expect they'd swap out four wheels for two last minute. Nah, not this style. On to the next. There they are. No question. Both runners are inside. Got the signal? Got it. Not gonna slip off our radar anymore. Good work. Still early for the meet with Hanson. They'll stop. 
kill time somewhere. Okay, they're stationary. And out of the car. Walking towards the club now. V, you're clear to head for the car. Get to it. Starting today, the hospital and its staff will be operating under our protection. Any stitches? A new leg? Report directly to Dr. Robinson. Over and out. Here we are. Damn. Free ride. Hey, you're not there at window shop. Smooth sailing so far. Car's cam feeds are mine. Good. Last check now. Make sure you're ready to roll. Should be good. Just give me one sec. Why? What are you doing? Tweaking the ice. Kind of half baked way it's set up now. Fine. There's no unnecessary risks. And done. Not bad. Now we wait. Our VIPs are back. They're about to get in. Time to focus up. Kurt Hansen, tu l'as vu, non Il était grave en train de me relooker au Saphir. Oh, à moins que ce soit cette putain de gueule de bois. Oh, ça tourne de partout, dans tous les sens. T'en penses quoi to Hansen, je veux dire. Okay, V, take control. Hold on. He's dropping a bit. Could get interesting. Oh, il a foutu le feu au cul de tout le monde quand il a abattu cet avion. Le risque est élevé, oui. Mais ce travail paye bien. On fait notre part. Ensuite, on disparaît. Ah, oh, putain de gueule de bois de sa mère. Il a fallu que tu fasses ça aujourd'hui. Je t'avais dit de pas ouvrir cette dernière bouteille. Oui, le copy. La voiture, hein quelqu'un en a pris le contrôle. Emric, sonne l'alarme On a besoin d'aide Je vais localiser le vecteur. Ok, une seconde C'est fait Putain, allez J'essaie de reprendre le contrôle Hey, report, what's going on? 
They're playing defense. And they're good. Neutralized. Great work, V. Alright, we have fresh disguises already, but you still need to lift the access codes off them. Aurora's the one to check for those. Alright, codes transferred. Taking the wheel. V, behavior imprint, now. Check, check. Oh shit, my voice! <laughs> nice! Hang on, that's me? What the hell? Cream, right? Give it a whirl. Introduce yourself. Okay, here goes. Aurore Cassel. Who the fuck is asking? Hmm, not bad. It can feel like a real trip at first. But you'll get used to it. Take a sec, collect yourself, then we move. Hansen's waiting. Alex, it just hit me. This will be our last stop together. I haven't forgotten our deal. I is green litter. A diplomatic mission. No end date. Call it early retirement. Thanks much, Reed. Okay, let's get to it. All right, stadium then. See you there. Before we arrive, remember, name's Aurore Cassel. Let me let you in on my secret about how to be someone else. Ask yourself three questions. What do they fear? What do they want? What's their deepest secret? Got that? Don't answer now, just something to keep in mind. And be her. So, Aurore. Your thoughts on Hansen? Tell me. What is there to think? The man is a warlord. Big, strong, but disciplined. More important, he pays much too. And we have deciphered him. Not bad. Specific, opinionated, but you're lacking some color. Hyperbole, bizarre metaphors, huge ego, horror in a nutshell. Arrived. The hound's den. In 
position. Ready for the next phase. Talk soon. Remember, he wants something from us, not the other way around. We're here to sell him Sinoshore mainframe access codes. Stick to the facts. Know who you are and are not. We are here. Good luck, Alex. It's Emric. But thanks. You too. with Colonel Hansen. Checking now, need a sec. Good, you made it. We haven't met yet. Name's Murphy. Oh, that's finished this quickly. My hangover is killing me. This way. So, Songbird told me a little about you. Said you two hail from Europe. That's right. And... Did you enjoy yourselves at the Sapphire? Police commissioner, a candidate for mayor, the Tiger Claws bookkeeper. All gambling on the city's future together. Figuratively, and not. The anatomy of corruption is beautiful here. Uh, uh, yeah. Took the words right out of my mouth. Okay, here's our stop. You should expect to have eyes on you all day today. Kurt got a tip. The FIA plans to pull some gonk move. Situation's under control. He ordered everyone checked out, though. No exceptions. Many wish your colonel dead. He must be vigilant. Got our people manning the whole stadium. Drone-aided scans providing surveillance support, too. Need you to leave your weapons here. Next, we'll need to run some ID scans. Joke around as we might, get along as we do. Ultimately, this is a place of serious business. You understand? This here's the heart of our little empire. Ah, how you sell these war machines? It's like a car salesman? Kinda, <laughs> yeah. But wholesale only. Suppose you're a dictator from some rinky-dink country. I don't know. Australia, let's say. Tanks, choppers, subs. You want it, we got it. No red tape. You have submarines? Fresh out, but we sure did. All right, I'm in position. Prepare an IEVAC route now. Take your time. I need ten more minutes at least. Not much further now. I couldn't get started earlier without risk of being compromised. And the roar? It should go without saying. But 
Stay in character. Good luck. Have this you been way. Since the beginning? Since the op in Night City, you mean? You could say that, but we served together earlier, too. I see. Then he must trust you very much. Pleasure to see you both. Songbird needs a moment to disarm the device. Which gives us a chance to chat. Oh, please, there is no need to hurry. We have a terrible hangover. Both of you? A bit of rhetoric. Emmerich doesn't drink, but when I do, both of us suffer. Well, we'll fix that right quick. Do you often conduct business hungover? Always. When your body believes it is dying, it does everything to survive. To be hungover is to be vigilant. Huh. A unique philosophy? One I never heard. Clever, no? It seems your clientele are painfully mundane, then. As you can see, Colonel Anson, we sometimes lack a soldier's discipline. But with unique flaws come unique strengths. I have no doubt. I'd like to raise a little toast to a successful day of business. <laughs> Don't worry about the work, Colonel. Just your health. I must decline. Your loss, little brother. It's changing the subject. Did you enjoy yourselves at the Sapphire? My people tell me the stakes went high. You two left richer and happier, I hope. I thought it a night at a casino. Wine and cash until both ran out. But then, this new piece of ass joined our table. I know the one. Thanks to them, winner, winner, chicken dinner. The Black Sapphire. My pride and joy. I worked hard to make it the go-to destination for Night City's royalty. Oh, actually, before I forget, I learned recently that we have a mutual friend. She said you did time together at La Sante. Remembers you well. My, you must have an impressive set of contacts, Colonel. And just who is this friend who remembers me so well? Raquel. Asked me to say hello. She did her time under Max Security, C-Block. Said her rat tattoo might jog your memory. Ah, oh, yes, the rat tattoo, I remember. Oh, please give Raquel my warmest regards. Wait, did I say Raquel? I meant Ruth, from B-Block, not C. <laughs> then say hello to Ruth. You make it sound like you knew everyone in the joint. Raquel, uh, Ruth, there is no difference. I know none of them. I am just polite. I was in the VIP wing. B and C-Block have no access there. How many years have you been in Night City? They say you served with Militech once. Seven years now. And yes, before that it was my mission to plant an NUS flag on this soil. Then it appears to be a great success. The things you have achieved here. Impressive. That flag's a piss-soaked pile of ash now. What I built, I built with my own two hands, for me. Why did you change sides? Because I don't need a convenient ideology to hide my business behind. I tossed the flag, but the suits in DC still remember me. 
President Myers, too. She called just six months ago, in fact. Asked me to help with a mess she couldn't clean up herself. Bureaucracy, red tape, and all that. Interesting. And uh, she calls, still? Not lately. Her administration recently encountered some uh, turbulence along its path. Ah, by the way, at the Sapphire, you asked me to contact a certain fashion type. Remind me who? Oh, the tailor of Kerry Eurodyne. Oh, he's so flavorful. Mm, I must have a taste. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that's the one. The fashion world isn't exactly my forte, so I'll need maybe a week to arrange it. Your sister certainly is the more talkative of you two. You noticed? You compliment each other well. Listen, it seems we've got time to spare. There's another opportunity I'd like to discuss. An expansion into Western Europe. What I need is a reliable partner on the ground. Two would be even better. Ooh, I have butterflies. A lucrative opportunity? <laughs> but I shouldn't sugarcoat it. I'm asking for a lot of hard work. Comms channels, supply chains, secure transport routes, the good graces of local authorities. These things I have. The groundwork is laid. Then what more do you need from us? I need an inn with Les Collectifs. <laughs> Anyone with even a bit of cred in France knows who they are. We can put you in contact, easily enough. Oh, is that so? Just like that? Yes, I and Le Collectif, we are very close. Hmm. Close, sure, but not on the best terms from what I know. Uh, just like you and the NUSA. They say to the world they would put you down. In fact, they leave you a bowl of food by the back door. I see what you mean. Ah! So me. We can begin. The mainframe is ready. You remember the terms. One of you feeds in the access codes, the other stays with me. I will stay. Shall we? Follow me. So tell me, how do you like NC now that you're back? While you are waiting, I ran some initial diagnostics. The mainframe is prepped and linked with our systems. She's ready to go. You know, he created this lab especially for the occasion. Tens of millions of eddies invested for your visit alone. That's Kurt for you. have a plan in place for when we secure the neural matrix. I'll hack the local net, override its defense systems, turn the whole stadium hostile. We'll slip out in the chaos. But... how many would die? Stand clear, please. They'll the die so here. we can survive. Live. Stand clear, please. You're blocking the arm. I managed to simulate the mainframe's native environment. The bunker. It'll be ready for the access codes in a moment. Listen, V. All hell breaks loose in two minutes. When Hanson flatlines, we haul ass. I'll block access to this room. Alex and Reed are minimizing risk and exfilling early via the route. Here she is, in all her glory. 
Oh, and don't worry about us. Got that sorted already. Check stadium blueprints. No which way to run. So, shall we? No turning back now. Nope. But we're in this together. Ready. Linked. Is the connection clear? Thousandth of the decimal. It'll have to do. Time to get wet. Actuating the mainframe. Something Jensen wrong? Suspect something. Just hasn't caught on yet. Soon it won't matter. Mm. I see. It's responding. Stay sharp. Almost open for input. Big thank you. Really. Thank you for being here. Just a little more. Okay, your turn. It's ready for the access codes. I'm with you, Somi. Look toward Alex. Wait for her to go down. Can do. What then? We run. Nearly have the Matrix. Breaching stadium defenses now. It's... a lot. Had to reach past the black wall. Wait, you mean to say, like, the whole stadium? Cutting off the lab now? Carving a path out of here for us. Defense systems are nearly primed to turn on Kurt's forces. Let Alex know. Mm-hmm. Stadium defenses, hostile and online. Thank you, Scott. Everything all right? Somi, you okay? What's wrong? The Matrix, the, the stadium, the black wall. Just lost control for a sec. But, yeah, I'm okay now. V, you need to bolt. Ah! Ree, they're giving us the slip! Get dicey. I can help. Pack stuff around. Just can't push myself. Name reach. Not all of me. Chance you can spin the chopper's loader?
Leave the door to me. Don't forget you're here.
There's an elevator, but we're not using it. Keep going. To the corridor. Door's locked! I'll open it. Give me a second. Done. Disable the door. We have a moment to catch our breath. Which? Yeah, give me a sec. Pull up ahead. Ah, uh, the equipment's fine. Our house lit up like a fucking Christmas tree. <sighs> We're gonna be down, what, at least a couple of days? Ugh, fuck, dude. It's them! <laughs> Please, don't hurt us! We won't say a word! Promise! as follows. We'll be exiting from the back of the stadium. I've arranged two cars. En route already. One for you, the other's for me. Should make us harder to try. Jumping. Think I see them uh, that alarms for. Uh, blast? Gotta be them. Fuck! Fucking ankle! Hansen's dogs could swoop in any savvy. Come on, Zomi. Final stretch. Toward the gate. Carl be there. Thank you, V. No one ain't gonna be in trouble for us.
Hope you got a plan for what comes next. We need to split up. Try to throw off the agency's pursuit strategy. Meanwhile, I'll confirm my path out of Night City is clear. Once I do, I'll be in touch. Where are we gonna meet? And when? I'll send you the coordinates. Just wait for my sig. And don't get caught. Hey, likewise. And V? Thanks. district, are you? Hey, yeah. We should talk. Face to face. Could it be a gig coming my way? Far better. I see a blank page in Night City's Chronicle. Your name is on it. The page and I await at the Heavy Hearts. My mind.
Dogtown without the Colonel. Can't hardly imagine it. Oh, please, brother. He a common thug. Not even that. Not no more. Worm food's worm Tone food. Tone it down, Chuba. Wanna wind up like him? Ah, at last. I lacked the time to brew tea. My apologies. It's cool. Not here for tea. What's so urgent? No ordinary job, to be sure. Dogtown's future hangs in the balance. Kurt Hansen. A man of many hats. A criminal, dog of war. To mine eye, an entrepreneur. And business suffocates in a vacuum. Vultures circle the Colonel's corpse already. The Enterprise he built must choose a new leader. We will make certain they choose correctly. The Shard, please insert it. Let me guess. Got a successor all lined up, don't you? Lieutenant Colonel Bennett, one of Hansen's most loyal, commands respect, is capable of rallying a strong base. The logical choice, this gentleman soldier. Alas, he has competition. A man named Yago. He's starting from a lower rung, but has high aspirations. He's already begun seeking outside support. From the Voodoo Boys. You will meet with Yago. You will convince him to back down. Okay. I'll handle that. No, you won't. But Aguilar will. Uh, you lost me. Hansen remained on top because he had the contacts to stay afloat. Most important among them was a Cuban cartel. Enter Aguilar, a merc assassin from Havana. A living legend. Every time someone in Havana lights a cigar, Aguilar extinguishes a life somewhere around the globe. I'm lucky to have her behavioral imprint on hand. You're lucky to have experience with the tech already. Let me summarize. Need me to assume Aguilar's identity? Have a chat with Yago. Talk him out of any silly ideas he might have. Child's play. Okay. All's crystal. I prepared a shard with helpful intelligence. Also a weapon. The same Aguilar uses. Help yourself to both. Interesting piece of iron. Custom made. A unique and highly persuasive tool. Time to kick the tires, V. Suit up and take the imprint for a whirl. the difference my time's precious hands if these don't work you'll need to find 10 new digits or aim for a rebrand hmm better than expected V or rather Aguilar 
You'll make a strong impression on Yago too. A trusted wow. source tells me he's to meet soon with a delegation of the Dogtown Voodoo's. I'll forward the coordinates. I care not at all for how you handle the Gangoons. <laughs> As you will. I have only one request. Yago withdraws his candidacy. Once you've shown him reason, call me. And remember, my district's future is riding on this. Don't worry. Won't disappoint. That is the hope. Good luck. Time to go Cuban. I have good news. We will talk. I will not shed your blood. A very good deal. My foot is you. My foot is you. Out in the open. Ah, want a face-off, do you? Aguilar, you saucy senorita. There they are. Gonk's got no clue what's coming. Think I'm gonna shed a tear. 
Something ain't right, boss. And you are her. I have a message for you. Who from? From my superiors in Havana. Do you remember them? Aguilar. It's you. We know of your plan to oust Bennett. We know of your new allies. The Voodoo Boys? Poor choice. My superiors follow Christ, Yago. I... I never intended any disrespect. What happens now? Um, Aguilar? The chain of command. It is a concept you know. If just one link fails, the chain breaks. You will lay your ambitions to rest. You will resume your place in the chain and hold firm. Charlie! Think you're hot shit. Prove it. Oh shit. No, no, no. You... So the legends are true. Point taken. I'll back down. But there's something you should know. Bennett is Arasaka's pawn. They aim to control Dogtown through him. You have proof of Bennett's deception, I trust. Know where to find it. He goes to the city center often, Republic Way. The building's a front, occupied by a dummy corp owned by Arasaka. As to Bennett's biz there, ask him, press him. You'll see him, right? Plot thickens. Once they're gone, uncloak for your face melts like Scott Chaco. Just getting started, Johnny. Guess you ought to keep hands in the loop. Or we could see what his favorite son's cooking up with fucking Arasaka. After all, Dogtown's future hangs in the balance. Well played, Aguilar. High five me on Mana Cabana.
hell you want, Reed. You're a disappointment, V. To me, to Saul. We could have helped her. We, together. It was her choice, Saul. You're helping a traitor who took a potentially lethal swipe at the NUS president's life. Sheesh. Song just wants to fly free, man. Leave her alone. No more tragedies, I promise. V, this isn't something you and I can settle anymore. Songbird's gone to war, taking on her own country. We, the FIA, we're gonna find you too. You have exactly no way to run, V. Wouldn't have fucking called if this was over and done, Reed. Is some negotiation tactic? We're long past that, V. I'm saying we'll see each other soon. You, Song, and me. Get it? And I'll expect you to mend your ways then. Jeez, thanks for the heads up. Remember, you've taken responsibility for her. When we find you, when, it's not gonna be about whatever deal you two think you've made. Time Aguilar had a word with Bennett. Ain't our guy that. Probably his hustle. Take him out now, just in case. Save yourself the headache later. Come out. Let's talk. Promise. Ambush! Defend yourself! Tell you what Aguilar do. Dump the body, stat. Then wait for Bennett in the ride. Get the jump on him. Mm -hmm. I think we're on the same page. They agreed to back me. Two unmarked tactical units in Dogtown. Gordon, let's roll. But what a grind. Japanese suits have their neckties tied so fucking tight. Wait, who? Oh fuck, Aguilar! Was it good, your meeting? The one I was not supposed to know Aguilar, about? Aguilar, please, listen to me. I know what this must look like. This fuckhead Yago! Your accountant. Hmm. He's trying to cut me out. 
Arasaka's promised to have my back. All they want in exchange is access to our smuggling routes. No. What they seek is control of your smuggling routes. Only a fool would think otherwise. I'm out to secure the future. For my organization. For your bosses. You will put Arasaka behind you, Bennett. Why? Because you are in a car with Havana, while Tokyo is somewhere out there. This a geography lesson? Fucking joke! Oh, Bennett. What little regard you have for your own life. You won't let it go, is that it? Well, fine. Your legend's hands hit! <laughs> It is mine to give, but to a soldier, not a corporate puppet. If I see even one Arasaka shadow in Docktown, I will return and find you. But without my friendly demeanor. Is that clear? Yes, Aguilar. Understood. Supreme work, Aguilar. Time for a breather, though. V, have you made progress? Has Yago reconsidered? Has indeed. Also, Voodoo Boys are out of the equation. Splendid. Have you anything else to add? Yup. Met with Bennett, too. Man's a sock puppet. Sock his hand up his ass. Don't worry. I pulled him off, ironed him out. For good, I hope. Huh. It's not something I asked you to do. But I do appreciate it. Bennett is still superior to Yago as a candidate. What now? Time to pay tribute to the Fallen. Aguilar will attend Hansen's funeral service and ensure a smooth transfer of power. Uh-huh. Sounds like you expect trouble. Such events can trigger geysers of raw emotion. No two people grieve alike, and rarely rationally. Ceremony and Wake both at the Black Sapphire. Aguilar should enter without a hitch. Got it. Le Roi et more. Vive Le Roi. Good luck, V. Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I really did thought that was going to be the end mission when we offed uh, Helson, wherever the hell his name was, but I guess not. Uh, I did save it at one point. This way we can go back to that save point. And instead of helping some songbird, we'll see what happens. So that's why I saved that twice there. So we can go back and see what would happen if we chose other other things. So after I play this out, we'll see where this ends. And then we'll go back and see when we do option B and see how that plays out. <laughs> Maybe it's different. Maybe it's not. I don't know. We're going to find out. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.